Hello again, and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is BGFH, and I am back for an early access VR video. Uh, we're not going to spend much time in here, but uh, we, in this room, because of this music, is kind of loud, but we are looking at an early access build of, a demo of, Titanic, Honor and Glory. So we are sitting in an office here. We got some books over to our left. Book and book and paper. Another book in front of us. We got our little music player here. Books and papers on the right. Really nicely rendered room. But I'm going to hit A on my touch controller here. And we're going to start this narrative proper, so I'll talk a little bit more in just a minute or two. I'll let him do the narration at this first First the train part. from London to Liverpool, then a short trip to the docks where I boarded the ferry to Dublin, then the long train ride through Ireland to Belfast. Not a bad ride, but excruciatingly long. Check in at the guest house in the town proper, quick supper, quick sleep, quick breakfast, and a hop on the local train here to the Holland and Wolf shipyard. Fortunately, it was punctual. I was worried about being tardy for being three hours early. My darling Claire always said to me, Robin, you better get out of the house right now and go be useful for someone. She always did lovingly encourage me to show up for work early and give my best effort. So we are apparently playing this Robin character, and we are actually meant to, I guess, inspect the ship before. Titanic it's is likely no different from the Olympic. They're structurally identical. Voyage. The Olympic underwent these trials months ago, so this should be a simple repeat. I board, observe her during the sea trials, vote aye or nay on her certification, and then I ride her back to Southampton. Come on, Robin, you can't mess this one up, as Claire always told me. <laughs> okay, train door opens. And we are placed in the world here any minute. Any second here. Here we go, okay. Got the train behind us. And we got a whole bunch of we can go we can't really go much that way, but there is the ship right down that away. So um, I didn't want to talk too much during that music uh, opening area. Um, this is Titanic Honor and Glory. Uh, as I'm recording this video, I just recorded a video for another VR experience, one which I backed on Kickstarter called Titanic VR. That one, um, in the video that I've recorded, haven't released to you guys yet, but the video that I recorded actually had you play through, um, you actually experienced the final moments of the sinking ship from a lifeboat. Um, where they had the women and children uh, on the lifeboats and could escape to survive. And you literally saw the final sinking moments of the ship. And then in the same video, there was a, a passive um, guided tour of the sunken ruins of the ship. So um, the, I love that experience. But what I really want to see is the Titanic... Let's look at the positive. The weather broke, and now I've been given the opportunity to board the Titanic Advance of the Trials. This gives me a bit of time to really admire the beauty of the ship before I have to scrutinize every last aspect of her functionality. Yeah. So, yeah, we can kind of take a look at it over here. Um, but, yeah, so the thing that I really wanted to see is, like, Okay, it's neat to see the ruins, the sunken ruins of the ship, but no, I want to see, like, I just want to see all of what this sucker looked like before it went under. And, it, and I did not know about this experience 
apparently they had one or more Indiegogo campaigns for this. And I just literally learned about it earlier today. I had better today. find my way aboard. But I suppose there isn't reason for too much haste. No one else has even arrived yet, it seems. <laughs> Plenty of time to explore, if I desire. And um, so I, I literally found out about this earlier today as I'm recording this. And I'm uh, quite surprised by the amount of confidence the industry is placing into this ship. She's not even certified yet, and her first ticketed voyage is just a week from now. No room for failure on these trials, I suppose. It's like getting dressed up for a date when you haven't even begun your courtship yet. How do you know if you'll be rejected or not? I learned that one the hard way. Uh-huh. But, um... Had I known when, when, the, when, I, when this was raising funding, I think you can still donate. Uh, and, you know, I, I found the... the demo of this so I'm like hell yeah I'm grabbing this thing because I want to see what that's like and I don't unfortunately I don't have Belfast Lock is beautiful with the hills around it and the morning fog it reminds me of what I always imagined Puget Sound would be like a man sure can make a living out in Seattle if he can hold off the plague I don't like that you can only teleport. I can't even take my analog stick and rotate. I can't even do like a, um, you know, the snap turning. I can't even really do that, unfortunately. All I can do is really teleport forward. So I'm hoping that they add some control options. There is a non-VR version of this as well. They had two links, one for a regular, uh, or a standard, and one for a VR version. I'm like, well, duh, of course I gotta have the VR version. I gotta see this sucker in its full 3D glory. And this is using the Cry Engine, so I have not covered Crisis or any of the Crisis games on the channel before, but I really still need to, and you know, this engine is really well known for just making things look really good. So we have a uh, we have a thing over there. We have a ramp. I, I have played this a little bit before recording, and I have not actually gone on the ship yet, but I happen to know that we can't go up there. There's just a little sign, so I'm not going to even bother going up that ramp. I, I see think we they're have... doing all they can to extend my travel time. How do I find my way through this mess? So we gotta find a, another entryway somewhere down on this end of the ship, I think. Um, so we're just gonna mosey on forward. Like I said, the, the outdoor stuff is cool, but I really wanna see, I wanna get on this sucker. I wanna see inside the ship. I mean, I, I think if I could walk around more freely, I would appreciate it more, but like, I just, I don't like the fact that I can't freely move around. And especially when you're taking, you know, literally a few steps at a time. Since the aft gangway is blocked, I'll board here mm -hmm. through the first class. I mean, I'll, I, I get it. You know, you, you want to definitely have options, especially for people who experience motion sickness, but. I really, really do hope they add a free, free look option, uh, and even like a turning option because I'm gonna have to turn. Now I do have, if I hold down the A button, and I kind of flick the stick a little bit. Ah, oh, no, 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 not what I wanted. <sighs> See, I, I want to be able because I'm gonna block myself is the problem. Um, if I turn physically around, so if I turn toward this way, well, actually, I'm surprisingly not blocking it. I thought I would. Okay, we're in the... Let's spin around here. Maybe we can make this the front. I think, okay, yeah. I had to reorient myself to know, uh, where I was in my room here. 
So hopefully it just recalibrates and now Most I'm... first class spaces should be accessible at the moment. Uh -huh. But I may be able to venture down to third class for a spell through Scotland Road on E-Deck. I believe I'm boarding before anyone else. Robin, right now you're the most handsome man on the Titanic. <laughs> oh man, yes. This is exactly... Exactly what I want. I want to see this sucker, like, in its prime. Can I go in this door somehow? Can I... Okay, you just go through... Oh, wow. And I would, you know, I would definitely recommend that you guys watch my other... Uh, my Titanic VR video first, because... The guided tour, actually, you know, they describe some of these rooms, and so I'm trying to think back to, like, what they were saying. You know, they covered some of the dining halls and the, sh the bathhouse areas and, like, the mail room, and so maybe we'll see some of those things in here, but good lord. This looks... This looks incredible. I don't, there's so many, like, I, I'm kind of paralyzed. I'm like, I want to see everything, but I don't know. Let's go back out. I want to go. Let's just see what we got. Okay. Oh, okay. So, oh, we can just kind of clip through the wall or through the door there, but we can go. So this is the official entryway here. Let's, Okay. And that's blocked off. Can I? Nope, I can't go any further than. Okay, so it's going to block off. I can't go down that little narrow hallway. It was probably, probably meant for staff. You know, you get the narrow places that's maybe meant for the, like the ship staff. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. Um, so let's go into the carpeted area. And okay, so it looks like we have elevators here. Let's. Uh, Take a handy dandy gander and okay we're on b deck apparently um oh i want to go everywhere um let's just see if we can make a circle around and if not we'll swing back oh this is exactly what i wanted Hell yes. Because, you know, underwater, you're just seeing... I mean, it's neat to see the wreckage, but... No, especially with something this well-rendered. Yeah, this is... And, and look, you got all, like, the, the stuff that people are still setting up. You know, it's still not ready for people to show up yet. We got a, a dark area here. What's, what are these doors over here? What do they do? Can I go through? Nope, can't go there. Okay. What's over here? More stuff I can't go to. Okay, let's shoot. Yep, let's shoot back out here. All right, so we're heading. We've got the elevators back there, and there's a staircase going up, which we'll get to shortly. We definitely want to go up first. Um, I think this might be like the waiting room for like the dining area. I think this is where people kind of like a lounge thing where people would get um, they would get called to go up and eat or something we're just gonna look around here so we got like I said all kinds of really old-timey furniture I mean it's look at the man just to think this ship was so huge and so well designed I'm so using this as a backdrop I'm so using this as a backdrop for uh, 
one of my event videos because yeah this is cool as hell uh yeah what do we can we oh can we not go in this one here yet nope we can't okay um let's turn around and let's go back this way so we got our big staircase going up let's go back And I just want to finish exploring what I can on this floor. Oh, I love this. I especially commend them for modifying the bulkhead. I never cared much for what was on the Olympic. Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, see, here we got some dining. We got a dining room here that we can go in. Really? Oh yeah, everything's all fancy. Got some... Got everything all set up, like your place... Uh, all your placements or your places set up. Oh yeah, wow, that's a long dining hall. Okay. Oh, oh they're not going to let us go... Okay, so they're, they're making arbitrary. Now, this is an early access, so probably when this, when this is the full thing I would imagine you know I mean look at they've rendered it I don't necessarily know why we can't you know like I should be able to teleport and then just you know shoot past this little wooden uh, cart thingy here but I can't um, but I mean like I said I, I, I can lean over I can look and we got all kinds of stuff over there. Bunch of chairs. God, just look at how big this is. Wow. And like, even, look at that. The, even just the, it's not flat. It's just all rendered. You got all the, look at the intricacies along the, the corner and all the arches. I mean, it's not just flat walls. You've got all kinds of little uh, stepped detail there and you know just looking at the architecture alone and to think it's all what did they see in the other video like we're about 20 years away from pretty much everything being disintegrated that's sad that is really really sad um, so we came in from way back here originally because that's yeah that's where we came in now he said he said that we might be able to go down somehow I only see the staircase up I mean unless I can use the elevators but like yeah so I came from there let's go up these stairs let's go back and let's go here oh yeah we're going upstairs let's take a look at this painting god yeah look at the i mean the intricacies of like the wall and the frame and it is beautiful god dang man the pole i mean there's designs on everything there's intricate like carved out designs I mean, yeah, this is like the next best thing to be in there. And in the end, I can take my headset off and I won't be dead. Oh. All right, what do we got up here? So, oh, we can still go up even further. Ooh. But before I do, I want to know, can I go... Uh... Okay, so apparently there's more areas that I'm not allowed to go in. What do we got over here? Oh, okay, what is this hallway? Is this a sign? Oh, wait, I gotta check something here. Hang on. Uh, I think... Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I had to move my VR cord, uh, otherwise it was going to probably knock over one of my sensors. 
So... I'm not sure what hallway we're going down. And I can't go in, like... I hope the final version, literally... I hope that I can freely explore every single room if I want to. I understand that, like... You know, all of the, you know, like, the bedrooms are, you know, each level is going to have different quality, but, you know, first class versus second and third class, it will be different quality, but, like, I don't know, okay, no, we got narrow hallways, so that's just the way they are. I mean, it is a ship, after all. Um, <clears throat> but, like, just being able to see what the room, what the bedrooms look like, what kind of furniture each class section had. Okay, we got another little hallway here. So, huh. Okay. Oh, I love this so far. This is a long ass hallway, holy lord. Okay, so we got another staircase going up. I can't... Oh, boy. <laughs> um, I kind of want to go... Back... The way... See, hmm, I didn't go back behind me. I just kind of took off this way. Uh, I don't know if I missed any sort of room back there. Uh, well, you know what? We'll just have to come back for another video. We're just going to kind of keep moving. Um, we'll walk down another hallway here and see if there's any other door. Whoa, whoa, oh, hey, what the hell happened? Uh, uh oh, where? I'm in another. Uh, what the hell? Uh, somehow when I was trying to teleport down the hallway, something weird, weird, and now I'm in the middle of a dining room. I have no freaking clue where I am right now. Huh. Uh, am I on the same level? Am I... Where the hell am I? Can I... Well, I have... Odd that this room would have its tables already set. Mr. Gotti hasn't even boarded yet. Oh well, top marks for presentation. I have no clue where we are now, guys. <laughs> um, sure. But yeah, wow, I mean, it's a really, it's just like a really nice, if you didn't know any better, you would think you weren't even on a boat. It's just a really, really big, fancy restaurant. Got some wall lighting over there. We got some... Chandel or well, no, they're not really chandeliers, but they got all kinds of nice little patterns, uh, cool little designs around the light fixtures. Got some kind of a picture over here, or oh, a mirror. Oh, it's a oh, I'm a ghost. Ah, or a, is that a mirror? Am I looking at the other, or am I looking through a little hole? Huh. Um. I think we have to go back. Wait, I gotta figure out where the hell am I? Okay. I, I got all spun around in my room. I have no, I had no idea where I was. Uh, let's go over this way. So we got a little counter here. Probably, uh, probably a bar area or something. Give me some alcohol. Thank you very much. Yes, this is everything that I wanted. Like, I, I don't get me wrong, I love Titanic VR, but like, after that, you, how can you not want to explore the real thing before it went under? This is pretty incredible. I'm trying to figure out how the hell to get out of here. <laughs> OK, 
because I don't know how I got in, actually. Like I said, I was going down that hallway, and all of a sudden, I wasn't just in a room, like, in a doorway. I was, like, smack in the middle of it, so... Pff, heck if I know what happened. How do I get out of here? Look out the window a little bit. This is all like window stuff. So there's got to be a way out of this joint. Um, let's go look on another wall over here. Okay, we got more stuff over there. Yeah, the, the the turning and teleporting, not a huge fan, but... Um, that's something that they can add later, so... And I can't interact with anything, like, you know, if... I suppose it would be a re... well... I guess it'd be hard to expect like all the items to be, you know, you pick up that if every one of these things actually had to be um, not just rendered, but like interactable, <laughs> I could imagine, I can only imagine the physics processor power to be able to, because you know somebody would be like, okay, we got this giant dining room, I'm going to pile everything, I'm going to, I'm going to walk around, I'm going to take everything and put it into a pile and just make my processor crap itself. You know somebody would do that. Hell, I might try to do that. <laughs> so, um, how did I get in here? See, I can't leave this room. I can't go behind the bar. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here's a door. Okay. Uh, so, where I am in relation to where I was before? Pfft, not a freaking clue. Not a clue. We'll wander around a little bit more. I mean, like I said, I think this is going to be... I mean, there's going to be too much content to even look at in this video but this is just a I wanted to show you what even how much detail is in this early build <clears throat> in this demo <laughs> I didn't you know I didn't pay a thing for this this really is just something does remind you of Paris though accepting the smell of overflown sewage what? wonderful memories are coming back to me of that city okay Boy, so these don't seem as high class. There, there's tables and stuff, but a lot simpler. It's still pretty intricate in its own way, but you can tell it's not. You can imagine this is probably for your lower class citizens, maybe. Um, still nice though, but um. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I just downloaded this from their website. Uh, I'm definitely going to do some more research, and, like, if they have a way, um, I would consider contributing some cash to this, because, and especially even, you know, adding some of those suggestions for more movement slash control options uh, would be great, because, oh, well, I didn't even look up. Yeah, I mean, look at the ceilings. It's never just like a flat... Everything about this ship seems like it had to be just insanely detailed and opulent and... There's a lot of nice detail to this. Huh. 
Huh. Just the art. I could just look. I could just stare at every little piece of architecture alone and marvel at the intricacies of everything. So we came from that way, from the mysterious dining room of which we somehow entered somehow. I don't know. All right, so... We could go upstairs. Let's see what's down this hallway. Okay, we just got way more along hallway. Yeah, let's let's head up because we'll just I'll give Love you Love the wood detailing here. It's absolutely perplexing. Now that's a craft I can really respect. Lovely wood. I've I... always been fond of wood. When younger, I used to cut wood for the poor folks two streets over. My neighbors started calling me Robin Wood. They always laughed, uh, but I don't know why. I wore that title proudly. Huh. No, I couldn't agree with him more. I mean, I mean, it's impressive. I mean, Jesus, look at this. Somebody was a very interesting in, uh, interior designer for this thing, man. Wow. Again, I, I keep forgetting that I'm on a ship. <laughs> Just looks like some really crazy amazingly built building and look at the the dome up there that's really cool damn man look at all the things around the railings this is impressive Oh yeah, wow, yeah. <laughs> Look at these hallways compared to the even one level below. They're wider. They've, I mean, they've got the floor and ceiling designs. The other ones are like, yeah, there, there's some intricacy, but they're all just kind of white and a little more u utilitarian. These things are just like everything on this floor. Uh, what do we got this way? I'll go down the hallway here in a minute, but... I want to see... What a fine accommodation for the unwinding of the gentlemanly sort after a long day at sea. If only it were open now, and there were men in there to socialize with, perhaps <laughs> then I'd make some friends. <laughs> yeah, I want... I, I literally want... Like, if they rendered it in the final version, just let us explore every single possible room that we can. I'm sure we can't go through there, because that's, like, outdoors, probably. I'm guessing some of the places have balconies, though. Let's see if they... No. Okay. All right, let's teleport our way back down here. Yeah. God, all those people that sunk enjoying this thing and just like I said just seeing how crazy cabins upon cabins upon cabins upon cabins upon cabins upon cabins <laughs> he's not wrong he's not wrong at all um I wonder can I teleport through there no oh cool it's like a big like a big sitting room kind of a thing, and you can look out on the th out on the ocean. Okay. <laughs> cabins upon cabins upon cabin. You're not wrong, buddy. But what I was thinking was that I just I don't really want to go by myself because I think I I just would want like one other person to go with, but. Everyone tells me I should go on a cruise one day. And... You know, even just seeing like I an old... I suppose this won't be open anytime mm. soon. A shame. I would enjoy nothing more than a cup of tea and to sit with a book in the lounge and... Well, lounge. Lounge. <laughs> yep. 
um, you know, I, I have I've had co-workers that have gone. I've had friends that have gone on cruises. And I think it would be kind of neat. It would be cool to do. But again, I just don't really want to go alone. I know that, and they have different theme. Like if you want to go on a theme where there's like a bunch of, you know, they have everything from like nerdy cruises to, you know, music or, you know, any kind of like special interest thing, just so you can do different things. Ooh, can we, no, we can't go in there either, probably. And uh, nope. Oh, all these, all these giant rooms that I can't explore. Um... But like I said, even just seeing this old, you know, the this old ship, I mean, man, how crazy this ship was built. You know, even just seeing like a, a modern ship and what kind of luxuries they have on it now. So it doesn't look like I can do much here. Oh, hey, we got a bed. Oh. Okay, here we go. We got a little cabin here. Here we go, so I can see a sample. We've got a little sink with a mirror. Got a bed there. A chair, little desk. And we got a little bunk bed, it looks like. It's, or a bed and... Okay, yeah, a little bunk bed. It's a nice little cabin. I would totally... I would be fine with this. Got a... Closet or... Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's got mirrors everywhere in this place. Huh. Okay. Cool, we actually did get to see a... A cabin. I See, I would love to go down... Um... I would love to go down into a lower level and see just what the rooms in the lower levels were like. Now we can still, wait, did I, I think what I did, there's some weird thing where I think I teleported because I went up, yeah, so somehow you can accidentally teleport to a lower or upper floor. I think is what I might have done. Because now we're at the restaurant, I think, is down that way to the left. Um, I wonder if the barber will be on board for the run to Southampton. Lord knows I should fancy a shave after my journey here. Speaking of barbers, I'm quite glad old Harry is there to look after Claire while I'm away. They always were fond of each other, and when my son was born, Harry was particularly fond of him. Never missing a birthday. See, this is the kind of friend a man really needs. His presence seems to even alleviate her hysteria condition. Yeah, I mean, look at these hallways. I mean, they, they're... They're neat, but you can tell they're... I mean, it's... It just sort of has a little bit more of a simple look to it than the ones upstairs. Uh, I want to make one little pass. We're going to head back down to where we started. I'm kind of keeping an eye out just to see if we can see one of these suites to be open because I want to see what the difference is between your high society and uh, your mid-tier level. No. Long hallways, that's for sure. Well, you got, what would they say, two, three thousand people on this thing? Seven hundred and some survived. Okay, yeah, so we're at the other end. I kind of want to see, you know what, let's go up these stairs because these... I'll quit it. What's down this way? Ah, uh, I can't go in there. Okay, just more cabins. The lifts are out of order. That's fine. 
Real men don't take lifts. Lifts are for women, Claire says. Robin, take the long way up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll definitely, I, we're going to wrap this up here a little bit because if I don't stop, I'm just going to keep exploring this thing and pretty soon it'll be like a three hour long video. Um, but yeah, th this is something that I can absolutely see coming back to, uh, for like, you know, this would be a good Apple video because, you know, Apple stuff is really expensive and stuff. So we'll show the opulent Titanic. How many floors are there in this thing? What the hell floor are we even on? I just went up. I just want to go up as high as we can on this end of the ship. Oh wait, what? Okay, I'm confused, because I think it's actually teleporting me back down. Like, I think... Let me go up here one more time, because I want to say what's actually happening is that when I go up... Up... Yeah, okay. So when I teleport, it's actually shooting me back down. See, that... I don't think I really like that, because it's really confusing. I didn't realize... We we're doing some looping action there, so pop down here. Um, yeah, I think let's go this way. I'd love to find. Yeah, see, that's all blocked off. Our elevators, some more. Yeah, I definitely have to see the final version of this because this looks very, very cool. I don't. F oh, okay, I can go down. Yeah, let's go down. Let's go down to the peasants' quarters. Okay, uh, what do we got here? Oh, wow. Where the heck are we now? Yeah, this place just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Can't go there. Let's... I, I swear we're going to wrap up here pretty soon. I've said that like three times. I can't help it. Every time I'm like, yeah, okay, we're going to quit. But now I have to see this. This almost looks like a... Uh, like, it's not for passengers, it's like... A stark contrast from the first-class accommodations, I should say, but still a major improvement from the other liners I've inspected. In all honesty, I envy these people in the lower class. The world is open to them. They move to America and build their future how they choose. They could be loggers, for example. But Father wanted me to be a surveyor like he and his father. No logging for you, Robin. Now wash your ears. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. Ah, that's so weird. But okay, so I, I was thinking this was originally uh, going to be like for staff or something because it, it doesn't like. There's. The hallways are so much wider for some reason and it, it just doesn't look near as. I mean, it looks like there's stuff all over the walls. Uh, I just want to go to the end. I want there's a staircase back there that I will check out here very quickly. Oh man, I can go. Oh, you people! Oh, you people! You're making me just want to keep going. Um, I'll hurry. I promise. But you, you know, that's you know, it's sucking me in. You know, that's it's. It is super effective. It is very, very, very cool. Alright, so let's go... 
I'm getting all turned around in my chair again. Let's go way back here. And then we're going to go... Ah! Oh, shh! Uh, Alright, somehow I went down. <laughs> I didn't mean to do what I did. But apparently I, I somehow went down. And... Huh. Yeah, it's definitely not as... Uh, I won't say not as nice. I mean, it isn't quite as nice, but... I mean, it's still... <clears throat> You know, you got fancy wooden tables and chests and chairs and this is more, you know, up up in first class you had these little private tables and these are more of your long, let's have, you know, 10, 12 people sitting at a long table. Um, wow, yeah, there is definitely some difference, that's for sure. Uh, let's see, let's head over here really fast so that's probably where I came down yeah the, w the weird thing of being able to actually move like <clears throat> warp by floor when you don't mean to is kind of strange so I think we're gonna wrap it up here because I'm not quite sure where to go like if I want to find um, You know, if I want to find some bedrooms and see what theirs are like, or, you know, look at some crew. I'd like to see some of what the crew quarters had, what their stuff was like, or, you know, go see the kitchens, go see the inner workings of the actual staff that worked on the ship. But no, this is, this is exactly what was over here. Okay. I didn't know if there was there another thing over here. Nope. thought there might've been a door. Uh, this is exactly what I wanted. Uh, I wanted to be able to look at, okay, I'm, uh-oh, uh-oh, hang on. Yeah, we may have to stop here because I think I'm wrapping my, uh, uh, wh where the hell am I? I'm wrapping myself up in my headset cord. Um, yeah, this is exactly what I wanted after looking at the sunken stuff of the Titanic VR I see experience. many of the tables are already set. There will be a fine banquet here for company and partner representatives, myself included, along with the one and only paying passenger joining us on our way to Southampton this evening. Huh. Anywho, that's, I believe, where we are going to stop. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of early access sneak peek at Titanic. Honor and... Uh, what is it? Oh, I just forgot it. <laughs> um, Honor and Glory. I just went stupid and I forgot what it was called. Oh yeah, I'm totally facing the wrong direction. I'm totally lost. Here we go. Um, but yeah, I, I, if this is the early access version, as polished as it is, minus the weird going through lower floors glitch, um, I can't wait to see the full thing. I'm impressed. Uh, it's exactly what I wanted, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoyed exploring this myself. And uh, follow me on Twitter at BGFH79, Mixer.com slash BGFH. Like the video if you did. Keep the subscriptions coming. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys again later.